Hey guys, as I alluded to in the last video, the acoustic guitar back had a little bit of a bend to it, uh, kind of a potato chip, uh, and I really, I was going to try to clamp it down uh, as I glued it the uh, back together, try to flatten it out, really didn't work, really didn't think it would, but thought I'd try it. Uh, what's more, as I was getting ready to shoot this little video here, uh, as I kind of flexed it, not only did it break in half at the uh, glue joint, it uh, snapped one side of the panels. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on with this. It's probably just as well it broke right now rather than later in the process. What I was originally going to do was I was going to run it through my uh, Wagner safety planer here, which is a tool I don't use a whole lot anymore. I used to use it all the time as the only planer I had. And it, and it works okay. Uh, makes a heck of a mess but it works. Um, I'm still going to just run what's left here just to kind of show you guys how this thing works. If you've got a drill press, these things are, I don't know, I think I gave 30 bucks for it back in the day, maybe it's more now, but, but it actually they work pretty decent. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to start running this through here and I guess I'll show you what happens, what I get. Here we go. little view of the bottom, these little blades, you can take them out, come with a sharpening stone, at least my kit did. You can envision how that works. Seems to work okay. Not a sponsor. Now I remember why I built the drum sander. This thing is much slower. In addition, you need a, a uh, drill press with some power to it, put on in low gear, and it still stalls out. You know, it probably stalled out a dozen times, um, which I'll, you probably won't see here. Um, originally, I had this thing on a radial arm saw. The motor tipped sideways, had a chuck on the bottom of it. Great big table, and it would just eat through wood um, all day long. Wouldn't even slow it down. So if, if you've got a really nice drill press, you know, I wouldn't dissu dissuade you from getting one of these. They're, they're cost effective, they work like crazy. But if you've got something like this, you know, it, it's probably, you might want to look at upgrading to something else. It does give you a pretty good finish. Um, you know, I've, I've got some, some final sanding to do here. I could probably get a little bit more of this out if I really wanted to spend the time uh, but you know this thing's already overheating uh, and, and frankly it's probably 10 minutes with a palm sander and this thing would be would be good to go um, so again that's just a quick little video on that thing if you're thinking about one of those wouldn't scare you away just make sure you got the power to run it talk to you later bye